best years of my life and I gave you I started singing when I was four years old and at that time I was just being obedient to my parents because that's the way I was raised not that they were show business parents my parents went into each of their kids and there were four of us the year 2018 was filled with shockwaves when rumors spread like wildfire that the legendary Gladys Knight had passed away Social media was abuzz with fans from all around the world pouring out their love, disbelief, and condolences. This poignant moment was a testament to the indomitable bond between Gladys and her fans, a testament that even in times of despair, love and admiration prevail. The son of R&B singer Gladys Knight has been sentenced to serve two years in prison. But as it turns out, the singer's death was all a hoax, and guess who was responsible? Her own son. Yes, you heard that right. The rumor, fueled by the instantaneous nature of the digital age, represented a modern dilemma faced by celebrities and their admirers alike. False news can spread far and wide within a matter of minutes, leaving fans grappling with the emotional toll such misinformation can take. In the case of Gladys Knight, the rumor wasn't just an impersonal headline. It felt like a personal loss to many. Gladys, with her soul-stirring voice and charismatic stage presence, has long held a special place in the hearts of her fans. Her songs are not just melodies and lyrics, but rather, they are stories that resonate with the experiences, aspirations, and emotions of those who listen to them. Her music has served as a source of comfort, inspiration, and joy to many, forging a connection that transcends the boundaries of time and space. From her early days in Atlanta to the heights of stardom, Gladys Knight has left an indelible mark on the world of music and popular culture, and so it is shocking to find out that none other than her own son did spread the false rumor about her alleged death. But through it all, the love and support of her fans have remained constant, a testament to the impact she's had on their lives. But just who is Gladys Knight, and what relationship does she have with her son? Born on May 28, 1944, in Atlanta, Georgia, Gladys Maria Knight was immersed in a world filled with the rich sounds of gospel, soul, and R&B from a young age. The streets of Atlanta, vibrant with the music of the South, provided the perfect backdrop for a young Gladys to cultivate her passion for singing. Her family, recognizing her extraordinary talent, encouraged her to perform at local events, thus setting the stage for her future stardom. At the tender age of seven, Gladys made her first television appearance on the show, Ted Max, The Original Amateur Hour. This experience was a pivotal moment in her journey, as it opened her eyes to the world of professional music. The applause and adoration she received from the audience fueled her desire to pursue a career in singing, marking the inception of her lifelong love affair with music. Shortly after that, in 1952, Gladys formed the group The Pips with her siblings, Merrill Bubba Knight and Brenda Knight, as well as cousins William and Eleanor Guest. The group was named after their cousin, James Pip Woods. The Pips, with their harmonious voices and synchronized dance moves, quickly gained popularity in their local music circuit. The family dynamics within the group added an extra layer of cohesion, making their performances all the more captivating. The group's early performances were characterized by a mix of gospel, R&B, and soul, reflecting the diverse musical landscape of Atlanta. They would often perform at local clubs, talent shows, and church events, honing their craft and developing a unique sound that was distinctly their own. The Pips' performances were not just about the music, they were a full-fledged entertainment experience, with coordinated outfits and choreographed dance moves that added to their appeal. In 1957, at the age of 13, Gladys and the Pips released their first record, Whistle My Love. This marked a significant milestone in their career, as it was their first foray into the world of recorded music. The record, while not a commercial success, was a testament to their determination and hard work. Despite their early challenges, Gladys and the Pips persevered, continuing to perform and record music. Their big break came in 1961 when they signed with the Motown Records label. This was a significant achievement, as Motown was one of the biggest and most successful record labels of the time, home to iconic artists such as The Supremes, The Temptations, and Marvin Gaye. The signing with Motown marked the beginning of a new chapter in their career, propelling them into the national spotlight and solidifying their place in the annals of music history. Under the Motown label, Gladys and the Pips released a string of hits that would become timeless classics, songs such as I Heard It Through the Grapevine, 
Neither one of us wants to be the first to say goodbye, and Midnight Train to Georgia showcased Gladys's powerful voice and the group's impeccable harmonies. These songs resonated with audiences across the country, earning them numerous awards and accolades, including several Grammy Awards. The success of Gladys and the group was not just limited to their music. Their performances were a visual feast, with their coordinated outfits, slick choreography, and energetic stage presence. They were regulars on television shows, performing on iconic programs such as The Ed Sullivan Show and Soul Train. Their performances were not just about entertaining the audience, they were about making a statement and breaking barriers. As African-American artists performing in a predominantly white entertainment industry, they were trailblazers who paved the way for future generations of artists of color. In addition to their musical achievements, Gladys and the Pips were also advocates for social justice. They used their platform to speak out against racial inequality and promote civil rights. Their music often touched on social and political issues, providing a voice for those who were marginalized and oppressed. Gladys's rise to fame with the Pips in the 1960s and 70s marked a significant period in her life, both professionally and personally. Their music, which blended soul, pop, and R&B, resonated with audiences worldwide, solidifying their status as one of the greatest musical acts of the time. As earlier mentioned, during the height of their success, Gladys and the Pips released some of their most iconic songs, including Midnight Train to Georgia, which won them a Grammy Award in 1974. This song, with its soulful melody and powerful lyrics, captured the essence of their musical style and became an anthem for love and longing. But as their star continued to rise, so did the challenges that came with being in the limelight. The pressures of fame and the demanding schedule took a toll on the group's dynamics, leading to internal conflicts and disagreements. Gladys, as the lead singer and face of the group, felt the weight of these pressures the most. She was constantly in the public eye, scrutinized by the media and fans alike. Her personal life became fodder for tabloids, and she struggled to balance her professional commitments with her responsibilities as a wife and mother. During this time, the lead singer also faced personal struggles that threatened to derail her career. She battled with gambling addiction, which she has been open about in interviews and her autobiography. The addiction, which started as a way to cope with the stresses of her career, soon spiraled out of control, leading to financial and personal turmoil. But through it all, Gladys's resilience and determination shone through. She sought help for her addiction and worked hard to rebuild her life and career. In interviews, she has spoken candidly about her struggles, hoping that her story can help others who are facing similar challenges. In addition to her struggles with addiction, Gladys also faced challenges in her relationships. Her marriage to Barry Hankerson, which ended in divorce, was a particularly difficult period in her life. The divorce was messy and played out in the public eye, adding to the stress and emotional turmoil she was already experiencing. But despite these personal and professional challenges, Gladys's passion for music never wavered. She continued to perform and record, releasing solo albums and collaborating with other artists. Her solo career was marked by a more mature sound, with songs that reflected her life experiences and struggles. For several decades, with her incredible vocal range and soulful voice, Gladys has been a major influence in the world of music, particularly in the genres of R&B and soul. Her voice, rich and emotive, conveys a depth of feeling that resonates with listeners, taking them on a journey through the highs and lows of human experience. Her music is a reflection of her life experiences, encapsulating the joys, pains, heartaches, and triumphs she has faced throughout her journey. Gladys's ability to translate these experiences into powerful musical narratives has endeared her to millions of fans around the world. The songs she performs are not just melodies and lyrics. They are stories that speak to the human condition, offering solace, understanding, and hope to those who listen. Her performances are not just about entertainment. They are about connecting with the audience on a deep emotional level and sharing a message of love, resilience, and strength. This connection with the audience is evident in Gladys's live performances, which are a testament to her prowess as a performer. She commands the stage with her presence, engaging with the audience and creating an atmosphere that is both intimate and electrifying. Her performances are not just a showcase of her vocal talents. They are an expression of her passion for music and her desire to connect with people on a personal level. But here's the thing. The singer's impact on the world of music extends beyond her vocal talents and performances. She has been a trailblazer for African-American artists, breaking barriers and paving the way for future generations. 
Her success has shown that with talent, determination, and hard work, it is possible to overcome the challenges and obstacles that come one's way. In addition to her musical contributions, Gladys has also been an advocate for various social and humanitarian causes. She has used her platform to raise awareness and funds for issues such as poverty, education, and healthcare. Her philanthropic efforts are a testament to her commitment to making a positive impact in the world and using her success to benefit others. Gladys's life story is an inspiration to many. Her journey, marked by both successes and struggles, is a testament to the power of perseverance and the importance of staying true to oneself. Her music, with its soul-stirring melodies and powerful lyrics, continues to touch the hearts of people around the world, reminding them of the beauty and strength that can be found in the human spirit. Admittedly, the world of music would be the same with Gladys Knight. Her soulful voice, powerful performances, and impactful contributions have left an indelible mark on the industry and on society as a whole. She is a true icon, a beacon of strength, and an inspiration to us all. Her career is a remarkable journey through the evolving landscape of music, mirroring the changes in society and the music industry over the decades. From her beginnings with the Pips in the 1950s to her solo career that spans the 80s, 90s, and beyond, her music has transcended time and genre, continually resonating with audiences of all ages. In the 70s and 80s, Gladys' music evolved with the times, incorporating elements of funk, disco, and R&B. Her ability to adapt to the changing musical landscape while maintaining her signature sound is a testament to her versatility as an artist. This period also saw her taking on more of a leadership role, both in her music and in her advocacy work. Then the 90s and 2000s saw the singer continuing to make music that resonated with audiences while also branching out into other areas of the entertainment industry. She made appearances in television shows and movies, further solidifying her status as a cultural icon. During this time, she also became more involved in philanthropy, using her platform to advocate for various causes and give back to the community. Gladys Knight's music has always been more than just melodies and lyrics. It has been a mirror reflecting her life experiences, the societal shifts, and the emotional landscape of the times. Her songs capture the essence of human experience, encapsulating themes of love, struggle, joy, and resilience. In exploring her music, we can see the deep connection she has with her African-American heritage. Her songs often touch on themes of struggle and resilience that resonate with the African-American community. This is particularly evident in her soulful renditions of songs like Neither One of Us and Midnight Train to Georgia, which express a deep longing and emotional intensity that transcends racial and cultural boundaries. While Empress of Soul has had a remarkable career spanning several decades, and her professional accomplishments are well known, it is her personal life that provides a more intimate glimpse into the woman behind the music. Gladys's early life was filled with music as she grew up in a family that appreciated and nurtured her talent. Her mother, Sarah Elizabeth Woods, was crucial in developing her singing abilities, and it was her encouragement that led to the formation of Gladys Knight and The Pips. This familial support would prove to be the bedrock of Gladys' success and has remained a constant source of strength throughout her life. Furthermore, Gladys' relationship with her children has been an essential aspect of her personal life. She has often spoken about the joys and challenges of motherhood and how her children have been her greatest blessings. Her love and commitment to her family are evident in her actions and the choices she has made throughout her life. The singer's journey with health has also been a crucial part of her personal story. In 2018, she revealed that she had successfully battled cancer, a testament to her fighting spirit and will to live. This experience has given her a renewed appreciation for life and has further fueled her passion for music and connecting with her fans. Gladys's personal life is a rich tapestry of experiences that have shaped her into the person she is today. Her family, faith, relationships, and health challenges have all contributed to her growth and understanding of the world. These experiences have also found their way into her music, adding a layer of authenticity and emotional depth that resonates with listeners. But despite these challenges, Gladys has remained steadfast in her commitment to her family and her faith, proving that her strength and resilience are truly unmatched.
How she has turned these struggles into powerful music is a testament to her immense talent and dedication to her craft. The emotional depth and authenticity in her songs are a reflection of her ability to channel her experiences into her art, creating a rich tapestry of sounds and emotions that resonate with listeners around the world. But there is more to this superwoman than just her agonizingly beautiful voice. During the civil rights movement, Gladys used her platform to speak out against racial injustice and inequality. She joined her contemporaries, such as Aretha Franklin, Marvin Gaye, and James Brown, in using music as a vehicle for social change. Her powerful voice and poignant lyrics provided solace and inspiration to those fighting for civil rights and equality. Her commitment to social justice has continued throughout her career, as she has supported various causes that address racial and economic disparities. In addition to her contributions to the civil rights movement, the singer has been an advocate for various social causes. She has been involved in numerous charitable activities and organizations that aim to uplift and support underprivileged communities. Her philanthropy has touched the lives of many, from providing scholarships to underprivileged youth to supporting initiatives that address homelessness and hunger. Moreover, Gladys' contributions to music culture are not limited to her musical influence. Her sense of style and elegance has also left a lasting impact on the world of fashion and popular culture. Her glamorous gowns, stunning accessories, and impeccable hair and makeup have made her a style icon, influencing fashion trends and setting the standard for elegance and sophistication. In conclusion, Gladys Knight's legacy and impact on music and culture are immeasurable. Her contributions to the civil rights movement, philanthropy, and advocacy for various social causes have touched the lives of many and have left a lasting impact on society. Her influence on subsequent generations of musicians, sense of style, and advocacy for mental health awareness have also contributed to her enduring legacy. All in all, Gladys Knight's incredible journey from a young girl with a dream to the Empress of Soul is a testament to her talent, resilience, and dedication to her craft. Her soulful voice, powerful performances, and poignant lyrics have left an indelible mark on the music industry, influencing generations of artists across genres, but her impact extends far beyond the world of music. Through her activism, philanthropy, and advocacy for various social causes, she has played a crucial role in shaping the cultural and social landscape of our times. Her contributions to the civil rights movement, commitment to uplifting underprivileged communities, and advocacy for mental health awareness have touched the lives of countless individuals, making her a true icon and a beacon of hope and inspiration. In reflecting on the life and legacy of Gladys Knight, we see a story of triumph, resilience, and unwavering dedication to making the world a better place. Her music has not only provided the soundtrack to significant moments in history, but has also served as a source of comfort and inspiration to those fighting for a brighter and more equitable future. Her commitment to family, community, and social justice, despite facing resistance, serves as a reminder of the power we each have to make a positive impact in the world. Let us honor her legacy by continuing to fight for a more just and inclusive society, inspired by the timeless music and profound wisdom of the one and only Gladys Knight, top of form. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.